Hi students, I'll try in this educational video to technologically introduce the concepts of deflection, slope, and curvature in the case of a slight bent plate, of course, as simply and as clearly as possible. Okay, let's go. Well, let's consider a plate depicted here in blue, and uh, this plate is in the plane defined by the directions x and y and uh, we consider also that this plate is slightly bent and let's examine the deflection of this plate along the line bc which is parallel to the direction x and uh, as you can see the the deflection of the plate is depicted here in uh, red and uh, if we consider a point A in the line uh, BC, the deflection at this point A will be denoted by W as the distance between uh, the plane of the plate before bending and the real position of the point A after bending. And now if we consider another plate or another point, sorry, A prime, uh, distant from A by the distance dx, the deflection at this point will be the deflection w, which is the deflection at the previous point A, plus the variation of the deflection along the direction x. The rate of the deflection along x, which is dw by dx, is the slope theta x. And in the same manner, we can determine the slope theta y along the direction y. And uh, from this slope theta, we can determine the curvature of the plate, uh, the curvature along x and the curvature along y, uh, which are the, the rate of change of the slope along uh, x and y, respectively, with a minus sign. Now I'll try to determine the expression of the slope along any direction of the plate. So based on the same model of the slight bent plate, we consider a direction n in this plate. Uh, this direction is defined by the segment AB. The point B is distant from A by dx in the direction x or along the direction x. And uh, the same point B is distant from A by dy along the direction y and this direction n make an angle alpha with the x direction and the perpendicular to this direction n is the direction t well based on this model we can determine the expression of the slope theta n along the n direction and this expression is the, is given by the formula that you see now in this slide Based on this formula, we can determine the, the zero slope direction along which theta n is equal to zero, and uh, the angle alpha asterisk is the angle that permit to give to give this direction, and this uh, angle should be equal to arc tangent of minus theta x divided by theta y. We can also determine the maximum slope direction along which the derivative of theta n with regard to the n direction is equal to zero. And uh, this direction is given by a certain angle alpha prime that should be equal to arc tangent of theta y divided by theta x. It's to note here that tangent of the angle alpha asterisk multiplied by the tangent of the angle alpha prime is equal to minus 1. This means that uh, the zero slope direction and the maximum slope direction are orthogonal. Now, based on the same model of the slight bent plate, we can determine the curvature along any direction of this plate. Here, the curvature along the n direction is given by the formula that you see now in this slide. And it's to note here that Rxy is the twisting curvature associated to the x and y directions.
We can determine also the curvature along the t-direction as it is indicated by the formula that you see now in the bottom of this slide. And uh, we can determine also the curvature as, uh, or the twisting curvature associated to the n and t directions as it is indicated by the formula that you see now in this slide. It's to note here that the sum of curvatures along any two orthogonal directions is constant, of course, in the case of slide band plate. This educational video takes and please mention all your remarks and suggestions in the comments. Thank you very much for your attention.